Hello, welcome to our industrial maintenance video series. My name is Mario Bringuero. I'm an industrial maintenance instructor at College of the Sequoias in Hanford, California. In this video, I'll walk you through the steps in bending a 90 degree stub, and later I'll demonstrate the process. The first step in bending the 90 degree stub is to select the appropriate bender. The second step, take a measurement from a known reference point to the desired length. For our third step, we'll have to subtract the gain from the known measurement. For example, a half inch conduit has a gain of five inches, three quarter has a gain of six inches, and one inch has a gain of eight inches. For the fourth step, we then line up our mark on the front of bend arrow, as you can see in the photograph. And for your last step, verify that the conduit has been bent to a true 90 degrees. Remember, you may have to go to 93 to allow for spring back. So moving on to the demonstration portion of the 90, this is an application where we would have to utilize it. You have a conduit coming up and it needs to make a 90 degree to take a different direction. And to make sure you hit those marks appropriately, you have to apply the gain formulas. So if I wanted to make a 10 inch sub 90, what I would have to do applying the gain formula for a half inch EMT conduit is I would have to make my first mark at five inches. Go around the conduit, providing it's not going to be exposed, use a, if it's exposed, use a pencil, don't use a Sharpie. Now we're ready to actually bend. Now to bend the conduit, the first thing we need to do is line up our mark that we put on there from the previous portion to the arrow of the bender. Once you've got it lined on the arrow, flip it up to lay it on the ground, and you're ready to bend. With the line on the arrow, the first thing we we'll do is make sure this pipe does not roll around. So I hold it down with what's my left foot. You apply adequate foot pressure and then you bring the conduit up to 90 degrees. Now it's time to verify the degrees and the length. So now it's time to verify to make sure we bent to a true 90 until we got the developed length. You can see it's true 90, it's between the bubble lines or between the bubble on the bender. And we've got 10 inches to the top of the stub. So that's all we have for you today. Check out our next video when we put a kick into a piece of conduit. And thanks for watching.